Hey guys, and welcome back to Sugar and Spice. So in today's video, I'm going to make some OG biscuits. I am, however, going to add some chocolate chips and some nuts into it, just to give it a bit more flavour and texture. For this recipe, the first thing you have to do is to preheat the oven at gas mark 5, which is like 190 degrees. I had to look in the book. Okay guys, so the first thing you have to do is to grease a baking tray. This one can be a big or small one, and I have quite a big one here. I'm going to have to sort of see if I can... Baking tray. So you're going to grease it with any kind of butter. I'm going to use some stock because that's the butter I'm using for the biscuits. I'm going to use my hand because that's what I usually use. You can use a cheese or tissue or whatever. I just use my hand because I find it so much easier. you can add some flour. So I just have a flour sifter here and just add the flour on. You don't have, adding flour will help the basically biscuits not to stick. And then I always go over to the sink after I've done this and tap off any excess flour because it helps and also Okay, so I've just moved you a bit higher so you can see what I'm doing because when you are down on the counter um, you can actually see anything because I put you up on my windowsill. Um, so I've got my bowl and my scales here now and I've turned them on. So I'm going to use some butter. This is stock but you can use any kind of soft butter for baking. Don't use like butter you would use to spread on toast and stuff because it's got salt and stuff in it and that is definitely not nice in biscuits because it comes too salty. So you need to have 100 grams of butter, so I might actually need that other pot. Let's pop all your butter in. sugar and flour and stuff are always in pots. So cool. We need 50 grams worth of caster sugar. So just add in your caster sugar. So now what you want to do is to cream the butter and the sugar together until they're like light and fluffy. If you make cake you always get to this stage where the butter and the sugar are combined but you have to keep mixing because if you don't keep mixing it won't be the light creamy texture you want it'll just be sugar and butter sort of combined and not actually completely so just keep going even if it looks bad until it now this is what the texture you want it like this texture because it's more um looser and it's not so like still thick. Okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to add in add in the flour, salt and bicarbonate of soda and then you can add in the oats after that because you want to mix them in first. So where's my skin? So you need another pot. This is plain flour. You won't use that raisin because you're putting bicarbonate soda in. You need, I am reading, 75 grams of plain flour. So hopefully I can do this by pouring. Then you need half 
a teaspoon of you need half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda. So these are my teaspoons, or well, my spoons. So I need half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of salt. And I need a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate. And this is my bicarbonate in a pot which I don't like opening. It's impossible. Actually, that opened quite well. This will sort of help the biscuits to sort of rise over. Quarter teaspoon of that. Okay, so now mix that mixture together and then you can add in your oats, chocolate chips and nuts. It's sort of more like a biscuity mixture, you can see that. And then you want to add in your oats, your nuts and your chocolate chips. So you need 50 grams of um, rolled oats. You want 50, 25 grams of chocolate chips. So these are chocolate chunks, but chocolate chips would be the dark ones. And you want 25 grams of nuts. You want whatever kind of nuts you want. I'm just going to use um, a little chopped nuts to have them in a pot. A load of chopped nuts. And if you just want like your favourite nut, like you like almonds the best, or you like hazelnuts or walnuts, then just add them in. Add sort of whatever you want in. Because if you just want oaty biscuits, then just add in the oats and don't add anything extra. You could probably add quite a few things in here. You could probably add like some raisins. Or some, um, I don't know, anything. So, this is the mixture now. It is like a gorgeous, sort of quite thick but not a like, rollable mixture. You can easily roll it into balls. So, I'm going to quickly tidy up and um, put things in the bin and put things away so I have more space for my rolling out so now you have your mixture you're all done what you want to do is to roll them into sort of small pieces of mixture so you want to get a piece of mixture like so and sort of roll it into a ball so it's nice and smooth and then you want to pop that on the plate. So you want to do this for every single one until they're all done. I might move you forward a bit so you can see we put them in the oven. I'm right in the middle of the oven. Let me see if I can. There we go. Let me put you in. Put these in the air so I can put them. What's the oven? Got some lovely things on. Can you that right? Pop these in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes. So always doing whatever you're cooking. Yeah, in the oven. So whenever you're cooking, always remember to um. I'm gonna run down here a minute. Always remember to like do the short time first. So if it says 10 to 15 minutes, always put it for 10 minutes because you can always add time if you have takeaway time. So yeah, we'll see what they like when they come out of the oven. Once again, and my oven has just beeped, so we'll see what the biscuits 
I like them. My ovens are hot. No, my oven's dirty. I would not this is so dirty. But just remember to be up. Other than that. Let's see. Ooh. Now these look lush. However, they're still really soft. So I'm going to put them in for another five minutes. Okay guys, so the oven's just heated again, so I'm going to check the biscuits. They should be done now, and then I'll give you a little show what they look like. They're like perfection now. Okay. Here they are, out of the oven. They are still soft to the touch. They're definitely... No, what's the next one? Yeah, definitely crispy. Hey guys, so you can see my hands again. I'm just edging the biscuits, so I'm just going to get a cooling rack and transfer the biscuits onto a cooling rack and let them cool down. Oh. Don't forget to turn the oven off and the lights. Here we go. This is the cooling rack I have. Literally just a rack, boiling as much. So now, why is it that one? Whenever I start filming a video, I always have everything set out. I come to take, to take them off a tray or something, and I forget this. So what you want to do is carefully go underneath and remove them and put them on. There you go, you can see them. So what you want to do is you want to slowly like go under it, and then lift it up. And if you look underneath, it should be lost. I'll drop it on. And then just pop it there. my gorgeous biscuits which are still hot so I can't try them. Well let's see. We'll try a small one. This one here. This is like the thing about the videos when you make you should try your things on things. So this is what it looks like. It needs sort of in point. So this is what it looks like. A gorgeous biscuit. It smells gorgeous as well. It's nicely cooked, nicely cooked all around and it's got Chocolate chips running through it. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so you should show you can show your appreciation for it, even though I can't say the word appreciation that well. Really hard word to say. Anyway, if you want to give these biscuits a try, please do. I will put the ingredients in the comments below and you can bake along with me. And also, take a picture of them and send them to me, either on Twitter or Instagram. I will put them in the description below. Remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button up here. I shall see you guys next week.